Hey everyone, I'm Jordan from Midwest Munchers and I am making dinner with things I have in my fridge, aka cooking with what you got in your fridge. Um, so today I'm probably gonna make the laziest dinner, but we make it all the time, it's really delicious. Um, so basically what I'm thinking is, I know I have some ground beef I wanna use up, and a lot of times when we just have ground, oops, I dripped some of it on me. <laughs> um, but usually when we have ground beef that I wanna use up, we make um, cast iron skillet cheeseburgers. So we don't like get off the grill or anything. We just use the cast iron skillet. We make really good cheeseburgers. So we're gonna do that. And then the second thing I think I'm gonna do is a really easy kale salad. Um, I'm growing kale right now in my garden. So I know I have that. Um, there's some cucumbers in my garden. I'm gonna use that. And then I kind of just scavenge for what other vegetables are sitting in my fridge. Um, so I got tomatoes, throw that in a kale salad. It'll be great. Um, I have walnuts from Costco, I'm gonna throw those in. I have pickled banana peppers. I really like these in salads. I think they kind of get like a nice tangy bite. And, oh, I have radishes from my CSA last week. I can use some of those up. And then we usually always have some type of like really good aged cheddar. That's always nice in a salad. If you have goat cheese, you could use that. If you had, hmm, pepper jack, you could use that. Honestly, some night, any type of nice cheese is gonna be really delicious. Um, so I have all that for my salad. And then I will show you how to make my amazing cheeseburger recipe. Um, it is not just straight up ground beef. That is not gonna give you the best burger. I'll show you how to make the best burger. So I'm gonna go to the garden and grab some vegetables. The dogs always stay in the fence and watch. The garden is absolutely gigantic right now. It's been super hot and warm. So I am going to actually grab some kale here. Just grab a couple leaves of kale to use for our salad. And then I'm also going to grab some cucumbers. So it's still pretty early, but there are a couple cucumbers growing, a couple small ones. So I'm gonna pick a couple of those and grab those. Look how nice they look. Next, chop your vegetables. I had kale, cucumber, tomato, banana pepper, radish, aged white cheddar, and walnuts. But honestly, use whatever you have in your fridge. Any vegetable you use is gonna be delicious. So we have the salad here with kale, walnuts, cucumber, radish, white cheddar, tomato, and banana peppers. And then I will make a balsamic vinaigrette to top it with. So we have finished our salad. So next we're gonna make the burgers and unsurprisingly, look who's here to help me. Pony, what are you doing? Are you helping? I love you. Oh, cheddar's here too. Okay, let's talk best burger recipe. I've put this on Instagram a bunch. People have asked me for my recipe. And when I shared the recipe, somebody said, oh, it's like a mini meatloaf. Exactly. It is like a mini meatloaf. That's probably why it's delicious. Okay, so I put all the ingredients in a bowl for the burgers. So basically what we've got is ground beef, fresh garlic. I use garlic in a jar because I'm really lazy and I didn't want to chop it up. Um, general steak seasoning. So I have a bottle that's literally called gourmet steak seasoning. Giant bottle. Um, you could use any type of all-purpose seasoning though and it's still gonna be great. Um, one egg and some breadcrumbs. Don't forget to stop and eat a snack while you're cooking because it's very important that you stay full of energy with healthy snacks. Gordy agrees with me. Look at he says, yes, definitely eat some potato chips. While the burgers are cooking, I will make the salad dressing. My super easy, lazy homemade salad dressing is homemade balsamic vinaigrette. I usually just do literally half a cup of Costco balsamic, half a cup of Costco olive oil, and then I add some fresh garlic and some salt and pepper to it and shake it all up in a mason jar. If you want to go crazy though, I have some really great homemade ranch recipes. I have a Dijon dill vinaigrette recipe. So I will link the recipes to those dressings here too, if you want to switch it up a little bit. 
And then to finish it all off, I have a beautiful cheeseburger with aged white cheddar, a really nice kale salad, and then I top it with my favorite pickles, which are ones we got at Costco, of course. Um, so they're these pickles. I don't know, they're really freaking crunchy and I hate soggy pickles. One of my biggest pet peeves, soggy lip pickles. It's disgusting. Gotta get a nice crunchy one. So we got a beautiful dinner right here.